over the summer, I visited France. And before we left for our trip, multiple people on multiple occasions told me things like, French people are so rude, or French people are so impolite. So I went to France, anticipating a country filled with rude and snarky people, only to discover that was the furthest thing from the truth. Everyone was very kind and welcoming, not just to tourists, but to each other. They treated each other with kindness and respect, and they greeted each other warmly in the morning for work with a smile on their face. They were essentially Canadians 2.0. <laughs> if you have a Canadian friend, you definitely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this reminds me of a time where I was talking to a guy in school, and we were discussing our achievements in a sport. So he turned to me and he said, he only gave you the points because you're a girl. Yes. He basically downplayed my deserved win because I am a female. And I feel like many people would have gotten very sad or upset. And don't get me wrong, I was upset. But my first thought was, excuse me? <laughs> Needless to say, I was more mad than upset. So, what do both situations have in common? Stereotypes. The two instances I just showed you demonstrate how I was both on the receiving end and the giving end of judgment. I was so quick to judge someone the same way someone else was so quick to judge me. Now, let me ask you these two questions. How many of you felt judged based on your appearance, your gender, or your background? How many of you might have judged someone else based on their appearance, gender, or where they come from? These are stereotypes. We've all probably done this or had this done to us. And in my observation, they come in many, many different forms. Let's take gender bias and sexism as an example. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I can easily spot gender bias and sexism. <laughs> But the truth is, we can't, because they're typically embedded in ways we talk, react, and sadly even sometimes when we make decisions. Things like, you play like a girl, or men don't cry. Does this sound familiar? We have grown up hearing these phrases thrown around like it's no big deal, because these commonly used phrases mean no harm. This can mold young boys into thinking that they have to be masculine and emotionless in order to fit in with society's expectations. Like stereotypes with boys, there are stereotypes with girls. We commonly hear things like, this isn't a girl sport, you know, or my personal favorite, that's not very ladylike of you. All our lives we've been told men should be masculine and women should be feminine. But the truth is these are stereotypes and they keep us away from having an open mind and inclusive mindset. Clearly, stereotypes don't make anybody feel good, so, this is how I make sure I don't contribute to them. One, call them out. The silence allows the stereotypes to spread. For example, the boy that told me I did not deserve my win made several remarks like this in the past. So I decided I had enough and I called him out on it. Rest assured he did not make that mistake again. <laughs> Two, don't judge someone simply because of how they look. And I know, this sounds very cliche, but it is extremely true. Do not underestimate someone and what they can do simply because of how they look. For example, someone who is not that tall can still be amazing at basketball and go all the way to the NBA. Meanwhile, a woman with a rather feminine figure can have a black belt in Taekwondo and be amazing at it. Looks can be very deceiving. Finally, Rome was not built in a day. Change takes time and inclusivity takes time. It's a work in progress and we have to be patient. Gandhi once said, you have to be the change you wish to see. Thank you.